Hey everybody, we're streaming, I'm back, let's do this shit. I'm feeling shot out of a fucking cannon right now because I just took a bunch of pre-workout. Um, so right now I'm going to stream a 15 minute game. I haven't played 15 minute chess in a while, but we're going to do that shit today. We're going to do it right meow, uh, and let's get fucking reckless. Let's do some crazy shit. I, uh, yeah, I'm feeling like really amped, like I could take over the world. Um, but on a related note, uh, what the fuck is going on here? Let's turn this shit off, because that's annoying as fuck. Um, yeah, so I hope everyone has been doing well. I, uh, I'm playing in another tournament here soon enough. Um, what is this? Forza Motorsports. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. So, why aren't we getting any games? WTF. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so we are going to be uh, doing this here. Um, and I'm kind of interested to see actually how my game has changed uh, while I or after I've taken some pre-workout, which is mostly just caffeine. Um, but I don't ordinarily take caffeine. Uh, so for me, it kind of makes me jittery. Like, I've done a bunch of illicit drugs. Um, so what's this, a credit card offer? Look at this envelope, everybody. This envelope is sick. Isn't this thing fucking cool? It's like so fancy. Ooh, so shiny. I don't need a credit card though right now. Uh, okay, so this guy. Uh, we played him before? We have. We're one-on-one one against him. How did we score with black? Oh, we've won one and we've lost him with black. Okay, that's okay. So, we're going to play the Sicilian defense. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Interesting. Alright, uh, so he's kind of playing some weird moves here. Ah, okay, so this is what you want. This, I think, is fine for me. Um, yeah, that's fine. So, lately I've been not liking D5 as much. I've been playing more E5. Um, I think E5 is more annoying for them because I think D5 is kind of like an admission that, like, I don't know, it's not, I mean, D5 is fine. D5 is the best move in the position, but, I don't know. I like E5, especially after Bishop D3. So E5, well, yeah, E5, castles, or Knight D2, Bishop E7 is going to be my next move. Or D6. If he goes bishop e3, then we'll go d6. Um, but yeah. Close add. Fuck off. Knight c3. Okay, that's fine. Um, I think we just castle here. Yeah, I like playing this move e5 because you don't ever play c5. You know, he, he doesn't have a good... Alright, so now we go d6. Um, d6 to prevent c5, right? That seems logical. D6, C5 takes rook C1. Knight A4. He'll eventually get it back. Um, but we don't have to go... We don't have to take. We can push. And then I think actually our position is very good. I wonder if actually we can push now. D5, C, D5, C, D5, E, D5. Interesting. Uh, can we do that? d5, cd5, cd5, e5, knight d5, knight d5, queen d5, bishop h7, check king h7, check queen d5, and then we lose our queen. That's not great. Uh, I also have bishop b7. I have rook b8, but bishop a7 seems annoying. But rook b2. I don't think I want to commit that early to that, though. Um, I 
I want to go d6 and bishop e6 and prepare this a little bit better. I don't want him to go f4. There's a d6, f4, ef4, bishop f4. I think that's actually okay, because I'm going to go bishop e6 afterward. Like, I don't think objectively that's too bad for me. Okay, so I don't think f3 is great. Um, f3, what is the point of that? Maybe he wants to go like g4, but I think that's the wrong plan in this position. I obviously could be wrong here, but bishop e6 seems pretty logical. Preparing d5 a little bit better. Like if g4, I can always just go knight d7 here. I think I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Like I think, I don't really think my knight wants to be on f6 anymore anyway. So like, let's say he plays some move like b3. Okay, uh, so queen e2 is a move that doesn't really matter very much in this position. Um, he wants to go rook e1. Uh, can I go queen c7? Who's here? Nobody's here. All right, cool. Uh, queen c7. What if I go d5 immediately? d5, c5, d5, c5, e5. Knight d5, knight d5, bishop d5, rook d1. <sighs> I want to go a5, a4, a3. That's kind of an interesting idea. So d5, take, take, cd5, cd5, e5. Knight d5, knight d5, bishop d5, rook d1, rook a d1. Rook a d1. Then what am I doing? Maybe I need to prepare this better with like queen a5 or something. Like queen c7 I don't like because rook a c1. What if I just go a5 and try and fix his pawn on c4? He's been playing really fast. Either that or I've been playing really slow. I think it's probably some combination of both. Um, like, I don't think I'm worse here. I think I'm actually equalized here. Uh, Alrighty. Um, let's go for it. Play a four on the next move. All right, uh, let's see here, what do we have going on? I actually am not sure that a5 was the best move there because knight a4 seems kind of annoying. Well, okay, knight a4, rook b8. I don't think I'm actually objectively too bad there. If he goes rook a d1, I think I'm gonna go queen c7. So these are the ideas I'm currently thinking of, is queen c7, a4, rook fd8, rook ab8. I think rook fd1 is probably his best move. I don't like g4 for him. I don't think it's that special. But I think we've kind of drawn, we've kind of established what we're doing here. You know, he's going to attack on the king side, and I'm going to try and attack on the queen side. Like, ideally, if I could play a4 and then queen a5, I think I'm actually okay. Okay, so maybe now I go a4. 
a4 c5 I might just be able to take that he doesn't really have any great discoveries with his bishop I mean bishop c2 is always possible but then I can play queen b6 or something nope I can't do that actually uh I lied. Um, A4, C5, D5, takes, takes. Takes, takes. I think I'm actually okay there. Yeah, let's go A4. I'll fix his pawns. That's the correct idea there, I think, is Rook FD1, I think, is correct. Because Rook AC1, I think, is, the next, is his next idea. But I've got Queen A5 now. And I think I'm happy with Queen A5. Queen a5, bishop d2, but okay, so what? I'll go queen b6 check. And if he goes back to... Okay, that's what I thought. Um, all right, so queen a5. Bishop c2 could prove to be annoying. Um, I could also fix his pawns with a3. Like, what if I just keep marching? What happens then? Okay, queen a5, bishop c2, a3. I think I'm actually doing pretty well here. I think this position is actually pretty good for me. King h1. Okay, he wants to get off the g1 a7 diagonal. Um, I think rook fd8 is probably my idea. I don't dislike my position. I think my position is good. I'm preparing d5. I'm playing patiently. Rook c2. I don't quite understand the point of that. Um, what does he want to do here? Probably wants to protect second. I don't. I don't know. Uh, what if I just go d5 immediately? D5, cd5, cd5, ed5, knight d5, knight d5, bishop d5. I don't know. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I do think though that d5 is probably correct in this position. He's going to have knight b5 though. Maybe. Is he going to have that actually? d5, cd5, cd5, ed5, knight d5, knight d5, bishop d5. I don't see how that could be wrong. He's playing these moves really quickly. It kind of makes me nervous. That's interesting. Um, I take, he takes with the rook. I take his... I don't know. I kind of like my position here. I think I'm doing okay. Uh, bishop c4, queen c4, rook d1. That doesn't work for him. Bishop c4, rook d8, check rook d8. Rook c4, maybe. I don't know. This all seems kind of bad for him. I'll bite. I think, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's hard to say really what's going on here. Interesting. Okay. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting.
All right, rook d1 check, queen d1, rook d8. I'm concerned that I'm going to run out of time in this position. Interesting. All right, uh, h6, is that OK? seems logical. If he goes like rook c7, I can just take that fucking thing. Uh, rook g4 is problematic. Yeah, rook g4 could prove to be annoying. Well, rook g4, queen d5. I don't know what I'm doing after queen d after h3 though. Okay, maybe h3 queen d1 check queen d1 rook d1 check king h2 king f8 or something. Yeah, it seems okay. Bishop h6 is possible. I'm not sure if I can take that back actually. No, I can. Bishop h6 g h6 and if he takes with the queen, I can just checkmate him. Checkmate seems pretty good usually. So bishop h6 g h6 rook g4 check though. King f8 Queen h6, check king e8. Uh, rook g8, check king d7. Queen d2, check, doesn't work. So rook d8, check queen d8. I don't know, he shouldn't sacrifice if he's here, I don't think. I don't think that works. Bishop h6, g h6. Okay, so he wants to defend against that. That seems very logical. Um, yes, that seems very logical indeed. All right. Uh, now we have a bit of an issue, though. We have a couple issues here. Right, let's go queen d5. Is that okay? I'm going to hang the a4 pawn, though, if I do that immediately. So a3 might be better. I still don't think he should sacrifice on h6 just yet. I don't think bishop f6 is probably the right... I don't think that's the right move here. <sighs> this seems kind of dangerous for me now, actually. I don't know if this is great. Like, rook c7 is going to be annoying. Well, is it, though? Rook c7, and then I can go queen b4 or something. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. Um, I don't know. The, the bigger deal here is that I have four and a half minutes to his eight. That's more of an issue than the position, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure what to say about this position. This position is interesting. I don't think I have an advantage, though. Like, I think after b3, rook a4 is coming. Uh, like, this is the sort of position I think that white can play on forever, and I feel like I've got some issues here. Like, rook g4 is going to, I think... I don't love the way rook g4 looks. I'll just say that. I'm sure he's calculating that too. I'm sure he's also thinking maybe he can just take on h6. I don't think taking on h6 immediately though is good though. Right? Because take on h6, take on h6, queen h6, queen e1 check, king h2, queen h4, 
Rook g4 check is really bad. Or rook h4 actually just wins the whole house. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, I was not expecting that. But okay, maybe he wants to go into this ending. Queen a3 might have been better, but I think bishop a3 is tricky. Because now he has a bit of an issue here. Because he's attacking me, but I'm also attacking him. Okay, so he plays a really passive move. Uh, he wants to play bishop b6, but as it turns out, I'm not a moron. So here we play... Um, What do we play here, guys? Uh, pop, 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 pop. I don't know. I don't really have time to think very much about this. Rook g4, I think, is probably pretty good now. Oh, actually, no, it's not, because I'm defending on h6 as my queen laterally. If he goes rook g4, I might actually be able to go f5. risky though but I don't have a lot of time to think about this sort of stuff man I feel all fucking jittery and hungry I don't really like playing on pre-workout. Um, it makes me too, uh, too like wired. I feel like I'm seeing variations decently, but I don't know. I'm just kind of hoping that he continues to play slowly. Like my. I'm not really sure what my plan is here. Like maybe I can go queen e2 and rook d3 or rook d1 maybe. Yeah, I think probably rook c2 is maybe the best, but then I can go queen d3. He has to be careful here too. So that's an interesting thing to to point out because if he's not careful, I can also go queen a4 if he goes rook c2. Like he's played this move queen g1 which is not good like if he had i he might have had an advantage before i don't i definitely don't think he does now though queen g1 is just too passive i think he's realizing that now he's thinking like oh shit i just played queen d1 and i have to figure out how to fix that that piece like it was a very superficial move and his position is now just worse. Um, okay, but anyway, so what do we do here? <sighs> He's certainly taking his time on this move. Uh, rook c7 is possible too. Ah, but queen e2 is good. I'm actually not sure if like 
So I'm thinking if rook c3, queen e2 might not be best, because I don't know if I want to play queen versus bishop and rook with the passed a pawn. Man, he's taking his fucking time here. This is interesting. Um, hold on one second. Okay. Um... It's another somewhat passive move. Go to your room, Bowser. Ah, uh, rook d2 is annoying. Um... Rook d2, rook c1, rook... Oh no, he can't go rook d7. Uh, he can go rook d1, though. But okay, I'm slowly making progress here. That's the important thing. So rook d1, rook c2. Right? Uh, interesting. Okay. Uh, what if I go... Nah, let's go rook c2 here. Rook c2, rook d8, check, king h7, queen b1, check. I uh, know it's not check. G6. Okay. Seems good. We'll do it. Queen b7. Queen b8 actually is a problem too. Well, that sucks. Um, we're going to have to take a walk on the wild side here, folks. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. That sucks. Um, okay. Does that do anything? No, it doesn't do anything. Uh, fuck. God damn it. Ah, uh, god damn it. Ah, uh, fuck. Try that. I don't think that. I think I'm fucked here, though. Bishop is doing work. Bishop is doing work. I think queen d8, I can take it. <gasps> this is a problem, though. This bishop h6 move sucks. Alright, he's 
running low on time too, though, so that's that's a good thing. This is a difficult position to convert, I think, in time pressure. Okay, um, so he misplayed that ending horrendously. Whew, that was a that was a real nail biter. Um, let's see, that was that was really lucky. I uh, yeah, I mean it helps to know your rook endings. Um, because it was drawn. Where was it drawn here? Hold on a sec. Let's turn the engine off. It was drawn here, I would say. Uh, let's see what the engine says. Yeah, the engine's saying negative 0.2. Okay, um, so that's that's a draw. Um, yeah, that was whew. that got the uh, the old blood flowing, huh? Um, yeah, that was a uh, that was a real uh, a real doozy, as it were. Um, but yeah, cool. I won. I won a game. I won a chess game. We made it, everybody. We did it. We got there. I don't know if anybody's here. I don't think so, but the Twitch thing tends to... Yeah, okay, cool. No, no thanks. I don't want to do that. Um, okay, so there is nobody here, but that's okay. We're uh, we're here, and that's what matters. Maybe y'all can catch me next time. Um, that's the most annoying shit in the world. All right, so let's analyze this real quick. Uh, let's look up the opening... So as I said, the opening was a Sicilian defense. He played that knight e2 bullshit uh, flip. We played e6. He played this idiotic c4 bullshit. Played in c6. He played d4. We took. He took. We took. He played. What did he play here? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's flip the board. It's important to analyze your own games, um, just as a, as a nice FYI. It's something that is difficult sometimes because sometimes the games are very painful and they're not fun to analyze, but it's important to do it. Um, it took me 36 seconds to play this movie E5. Uh, that's pretty impressive. Excuse me, 35 seconds. I can math, I promise. Um, Bishop c5, I think, is a move here, too. 
I like to play more defensively, I guess. I never like this move, bishop g5. I don't know. It may be okay for black, but... Yeah, let's look at this real quick. Bishop e7 is what I played in the game. Let's see if anybody important has played this uh, as black. Somebody I've never heard of. Oh, Palbenko. He lost to this person. I don't even know who this person is. Who's H. Carvalho? Yehuda Grunfeld played this. And then a bunch of people I haven't ever heard of. Uh, let's see, is anybody here? Is that Daniil Dubov? Oh, it is. What, was he a kid? Yeah, okay, he was like a child when he played this, though. It doesn't count. Um, Yehuda Grunfeld, how did he play this? Let's see what he did. So he basically did the same thing I did here, which is reassuring. Except for somehow his opponent played. His op I was gonna say his opponent played worse, but I think his actually his opponent played pretty good here. Um, it looks like his opponent just blundered that G4 move. Uh, I might be wrong about that, but okay. So Yehuda Grunfeld won a pretty, pretty interesting game. Um, I see three. So let's see. Seems very logical. Castles, sure. Bishop e3. This actually is pretty good for black. Uh, although, I don't think anybody important has played this. Aside from Daniil Dubov when he was like four years old. Uh, I don't know who this is. Reggio Emilia in 1979. I don't know who this is. I don't know who that is. Uh, yeah, these aren't people who I've heard of. Who is this person? He's a Grandmaster with an ELO rating of 2200. Oh, but he's old as fuck. Who is this person? Sorry, guys, I, I, I'm always interested to know who these fucking people are. He's a Grandmaster. Lengiel. Interesting. It's. I feel like there's not to say that I know all of the chess players in the world, but I feel like I know a lot of them. And for me not to have ever even heard of this guy is somewhat, somewhat interesting. Okay, that's cool. Well, that's a new person you can look up. Um. But okay, so he's a grandmaster. Cool. Uh. So bishop e3. What do they do after bishop e3? What are the what are the important people do after bishop e3? d6. Yes, that seems very logical. See here, I thought f3 was a mistake. I thought f4 was better. What happens after f4? Oh, knight g4. Yeah, but so what? This goes back to c1. Oh. Yes, that would be a problem. Uh, okay, I can understand that. But what if he goes queen d2? Knight e3, queen e3. I almost like queen b6 here, actually. But their computer recommends this. Yeah, it's white's attack is not... I don't know, this is nothing special for white. Okay. Good to know. F3 is the move, as it were. Um, that's what the important people have played. Bishop e6, I think, is what I played. Yes, it seems logical. And I have, it took me four minutes to get to this position. Interesting. I'll have to work on that. Uh, so here he played this other move, queen e2. So now we're kind of out of theory. But so far this is all correct. Or maybe not correct, but this is all okay. Uh, what are the notifications? I don't care very much about Quake or Warframe. It's like you don't even know me at all, Twitch. Um, got B8. Okay, interesting. Um, wow, so that was a mistake. Why do they want me to do this? 
Who cares about this move? What if he just does anything? Yeah, sure. What if he, he does that? Okay, well, we can't give up the A pawn, obviously. Um, I don't understand what the point of going knight h5 is to go back to f6. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, our position has just gotten slightly worse, in my opinion. Although, we've prepared d5 a little bit better. Okay, let's go back to f6. I guess that makes sense. Now let's go d5. I don't know. That, knight h5, I think, is stupid. But apparently d5 is not correct. d5 is a blunder. So he took, I took. He took. I took. He takes, which is apparently... No, d5 is okay. I had to let the computer think a little bit more. But d5 I think is fine. Yeah, d5 is okay. Queen b5 is what it wanted me to do. Interesting. Oh, actually, no, rook d1's fine. Oh, god, I hung this pawn. No. No, 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 no. This is too dangerous, I think. Right? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the computer will defend that, obviously, but this seems very dangerous for, for white. Um, maybe not very dangerous, but it seems like something that I don't think I would be happy to play. Um, he had so much more time than I did. It's crazy. 11 minutes to 5 here. It took him two minutes to come up with h3. That's pretty ridiculous. Uh, I wonder actually how this works, though. I'm sure this is what he was calculating, but this shouldn't work. Right, because this move. And then I was thinking here. c6. Oh, that's interesting. Does he have a perpet? No, I can go rook d7 there. Get the fuck out of my face with that shit. Okay, so what? Yeah, queen d5. I don't buy this at all. I don't buy this for one second. Get out of my face with that. Eventually black consolidates and he just loses. Okay. <sighs> Uh, e3, takes, takes. Yeah, rook c2 is really bad, huh? What was I thinking there? Yeah, this is just losing. See, this is the problem here. This is a big problem. So I, I really fucked it up here. It's amazing, you know, it's like it doesn't it seems pretty innocuous this position, but if you fuck it up it just you just go from decent to just ho hopelessly lost. Um how do I see this here again? So, whoops. Let's turn back this way. Uh, hey, mannered monkey. What's crapping in? 
I'm a bit jittery because I took some pre-workout. I went for a run earlier, and I took some pre-workout for that, which, I don't know. I don't know if... I've, I've never ran with pre-workout before, but uh, I thought maybe it would be interesting to kind of experiment a little bit. I didn't love it, frankly, running with pre-workout. It made me... Uh, I don't know if it made me slower, but it made my stomach feel more empty, and I didn't I didn't love that. So, so okay, so actually, it isn't just Rook C2, it's a combination of things. It's Rook C2 and G6 is the big problem here, I think. Yeah, G6 is like a really bad move. How long did I take to play that? I took two seconds. Yikes. So here they want me to play E4. I take oh whoops yeah this is a big problem um, eventually I'll get checkmated there maybe not checkmated but eventually as a human I will screw that up and not defend correctly uh, so anyways so yeah here I play to defend my pawn which is probably not best Oh wow, that's actually not that good. Rook d7. Okay, so what? What if I go here? These moves are really subtle. Like, it's two backward attacking moves. Like, you really have to... Especially too, because like, I can play queen e1 check in some lines. Yeah, but this is really just really strong. This is why the computer is obviously... Because the computer sees these backward, like... I didn't even consider this as a possibility. This rook d7, queen b3 idea. I thought that every, I thought it'd be okay here, but this is just crushing. But okay, he went for the pawn, which is very human. Yeah, so now he blows it again. Yeah, I should have just played here immediately. But I bitched out a little bit. Like, yeah. Um, in these sorts of positions, it's important to try and find a plan. So eventually you just shuffle around for a little while and then yeah, you try to make some progress here. I was thinking I would be able to play this move, but I don't think it works. I was thinking like I could play here and then here and somehow it would be checkmate, but that doesn't make sense. So I played this move, right? He can't take it because it's a pin. Um, yeah, and then he just fucks it all up with king f2 because now this and this and this and this and this is a big problem here, right? Um, so they actually wanted to play king g1. So I would play king f6 here, I think. Rook a6, king f5. Rook a8. Maybe just go rook b2. Yeah, that's fine. King f1. Um... This is interesting. How do I make progress here? King f6, really? I don't think that that's that important. Uh, king e5, though. Oh, king g7. Sure, rook c8. Okay, well, that's a problem, obviously. So maybe he has to go... Oh, no, he doesn't have a choice. Okay. Yeah, no, he's just losing here. This is just hopeless. What about h4? Yeah, he's just busted here. Um, yeah, two against one is not good enough for him. <sighs> Interesting. But, I mean, with six seconds, obviously, it's not the most trivial thing in the world to try and play this position. 
yeah. Uh, and then once the king gets here, the game is over because this is mate and this is coming and he can just call it a day here. Okay, cool. Does anybody have any questions? Holy fuck, there's six of you. Um, Pally pal. Oh man, we're down to five. I fucked it all up. Uh, yeah, so if nobody has any questions, thanks for joining. Um, I think I'm going to call it a night here. I hope everybody has a good week. I need to hit the books more because my chess is of the not so great variety. Um, but yeah, have a good week, and I will. Uh, I'll be on again at some point, probably in the next two three weeks. Follow me on Twitter if you want to know ahead of time. I don't always give the quickest or the the earliest warning. Like today, I think a, a minute and a half before I started streaming, I notified everybody, but. I will give you some notice. Um, so, yeah. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Turn the alerts on. Uh, if anybody has any questions, tweet at me. Uh, be sure to check out my blog. And I uh, hope everybody has a great week. Thanks, everybody.